sorry, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. We gotta do this kind of fast today because I got somewhere to be, and at this moment, I'm in a rush. I'm late, and I'm supposed to be there now. Wow. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> with that being said, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Vince, and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're breaking to TikTok's new most hated hater. What? She doesn't deserve it. What? That's a she. Y'all, what is wrong with TikTok? Am I the only one that's noticed that there's a new most hated creator every single day? Bruh. Each day, Monday through Friday, new hated creator, new hated creator, and they all doing some dumb stuff. One eating tapeworms, huh? the next one eating boo-boo. Like, come on, bro. You can't put nothing past them. What's wrong with TikTok? What about that app makes you be like, hmm, let me post myself drinking cow pee. Yeah. Something is not right. They doing some type of brainwashing, or these people are weird. Have you been weird your whole life, ma'am? Huh? Yes. Yes, you have. But apparently this lady is an exception because she's the most hated TikToker right now and doesn't deserve it, which is normally not the case. If you're doing weird stuff, nine times out of 10, you probably deserve that hate. So we finna get into this video and see TikTok's new most hated creator. That says user. I've been saying creator this whole time. TikTok's new most hated user. She doesn't deserve it. So let's get into it. Let's go. Caitlin Campbell, and I doubt we'll ever see another comment section nearly as brutal as her. Oh my god. She gets called Heavy Potter, Lesbian oh. Peter Griffin, and White Kim Jong Un. Oh. Although, if you're familiar with Caitlin Campbell's content, you might argue that she really doesn't deserve it. Her videos focus on the uncontroversial topic of coffee, initially posting tutorials on how to make certain types or use specific pieces of gear. My goal okay. on TikTok is to help you brew the best coffee you possibly can at home. Since she was also promoting her own product called Street Brew, Caitlin added videos talking about how she ran her business. Welcome to the day in the life of a 29-year-old small business owner who makes coffee for a living. And while this was already hard enough to manage... Running a small business, running any kind of business is tough. There are going to be bad days, there are going to be bad seasons, there are going to be days you want to throw in the towel. There was another thing making it... I know we're only 50 seconds in and I didn't hear the full story yet. But you telling me she getting flamed in the comments for talking about coffee? Oh! Y'all done lost y'all mind. Y'all done lost y'all mind. Let me be talking about something non-controversial. Like, let me be up here talking about, oh, this is how you study for the next algebra test. And I get baked in the comments talking about, oh, why is his head so big? His nose is lopsided and his face look crinkly. What, bro? What? I didn't even say anything. Why am I catching strays? even harder from the moment i started posting on tiktok i was met with hate and trolls and negative comments like really the moment i started posting you're like here's some coffee <laughs> yeah and, and just like, like destroy <laughs> on an early video encouraging people to open their own business caitlin received comments such as maybe start a gym ceo oh. of food oh. and all you do is roast coffee beans calm down this understandably began to hurt her feelings definitely like really bothered me because yeah. like in real life people aren't jerks like that yeah. mostly. Uh, this is a very important <laughs> point to me so much that caitlin felt the need to reply to the negative comments no. building a community yeah you started it all never claimed i started it all how can you be good at coffee? The same way you can be good at anything else. Practice and make better coffee. You're just making coffee. Everyone is good at making coffee. I beg to differ with the continual hate bringing Caitlyn to a crossroads. You have two choices. Keep posting content and ignore the trolls, Thanks. ignore the haters, and go out there and win, or stop posting content and do something else. Rather than defending herself, Caitlyn began embracing the elements that made her page unique. How I deal with the hate. I don't live and die by the comments. I'm not searching for validation from people who don't know me. And when asked if she could focus on the coffee and not inspirational speeches, Caitlyn politely told the viewer that she'd keep doing whatever she wanted, which when done this eloquently certainly adds to a person's charm. It's so okay. funny to see people getting so triggered over somebody sharing stuff about their passion. We get it, you don't like coffee. It honestly blows my mind. People get so triggered over coffee. Why are people getting so mad? It's literally just coffee. Say it louder for the people in the back. It's so funny to see people get mad you like coffee. Everyone has hobbies, so what's wrong with coffee being one? It's crazy how triggered people get, although okay. this failed to stop the rapidly increasing negative comments. On a video oh, simply talking <laughs> Rewind on the play. Oh my god. Are they being funny when they say large business owner? Is it because of her weight? Wow. Is it because she's a plus size woman? Is that what they're getting off on? I'm not gonna lie. 
I may be reading in between the lines too much, but comments like this will have me confused. I'd be like, do they think I'm a big business owner or are they saying I'm fat? I'ma go with the one I'm a big business owner because I know darn well I'm not built like a big beach ball. Oh! I am not big. <laughs> okay. This failed to stop the rapidly increasing negative comments. On a video simply talking about her daily coffee intake, viewers berated her by stating, how about you watch your calorie intake too? Oh. You eat two chocolate cakes a day though too, yeah? You don't look like you worry about intakes. I guess she didn't really help herself by making lattes out of Fruit Loops, although the shirt she was wearing in the video revealed another reason she perhaps didn't deserve the hate. Caitlin explained that she began TikTok because she missed out on her dream job so I got rejected from what I thought was like my dream job at the time. I used to be a pastor. It was a, a very big pastoring job. Which was a role she'd been studying for over four years. Wow. So I wanted to go into ministry. That's what I went yeah. to school for. I worked in ministry for four years. And while being religious doesn't automatically make her better or moral, you could say that somebody who dreams of being a church pastor might be slightly more ethical than the standard TikTok troll. Right. Because Caitlin then revealed that 20% of her company's revenue goes to the homeless population in her city, which if anything led to a positive article titled Father-Daughter Duo Behind Street Brew Coffee Wants to Serve Up Real Change for Toronto's Homeless. Kaylin also managed to land a spot on breakfast television until her positive path was reversed by one single TikTok that created a whole new wave of hate. Making coffee is harder than your 9 to 5. How, oh, why would way? she say that? Why would you say that's one battle you're never gonna win? You're uploading videos. They're not gonna say it's harder than a nine to five. You don't gotta do with nobody. Come on, bro. This, oh my God. She was doing so good. I'm not gonna lie. I was switching sides. I promise you, I was, I, you know, she was bringing me to the light, you know? Then she said, my job is harder than your nine to five. Door closed. What? Why would you say that? You giving away money to the homeless. You doing all this. But then you gonna talk about my nine to five? That is where I draw the line. No, it is not. It is not harder than my nine to five. You don't gotta deal with ignorant customers every day. You don't. I'm tired of it. If I have to deal with one more customer, I'm gonna lose my mind. I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna snap. <laughs> Hey, did you work at PetSmart? I don't think so. You didn't walk in there five days a week, early morning to close. You didn't do that. You didn't have to pick up dog, boo-boo. You didn't do that. You didn't have to pick up dog, throw up. You didn't do that. You didn't have to touch bugs. You didn't do that. You didn't have to lift heavy pound dog food bags you didn't do that you didn't have to feed fish you didn't do that you didn't have to touch snakes you didn't do that you didn't have to get bit by lizards you didn't do that you didn't have a hamster bite you you didn't do that come on bro you didn't do nothing it's not harder than no nine to five bro that's one thing i won't let you get away with i was on your side at first when you was talking about coffee and stuff you know let her make the coffee but now i don't like you anymore get baked <laughs> coffee to the exact gram and then you have to get it ground up it is exhausting turning this crank over and over again then after weighing out your water and getting it heated up you have to pour it out in circular motions over and over and over again until you reach the goal weight the whole process can take four to six plus minutes depending on what brew method you're using just pouring water over and over is this sarcasm finally, all that hard work you can enjoy the cup but man i'm exhausted i need a nap after her tiktok gained over two million views kayla was duetted by people working in manual labor. Making coffee <laughs> is harder than your nine to five. <laughs> which were captioned with titles such as so thankful I'm not making coffee anytime soon. Honestly don't know how I'd manage. When a similar duet gained over 13,000 upvotes, most people managed to realize that Caitlyn's video was satire. Oh, sarcasm. However, it seemed as though the backlash was exactly what she wanted. Yeah, like, I'm just trying to engagement bait. That's my goal. Given a single negative wow. tweet bashing Caitlyn would explode her mainstream presence. The post featured a video of Caitlyn with the caption, what is this phenotype? 
Nickelodeon and its consequences, to which Caitlin politely responded, oh hey, that's me. I just love my job and want to make people smile, which wound up gaining over 30 million views. What? Her humble response led to favor from the media, as well as a shout out from an Instagram page called Quentin Quarantino, with the post gaining almost 70,000 likes. Caitlin explained how much the hate had helped her grow. A couple days ago, a troll posted one of my pop-up videos in the hopes of tearing me down and spreading negativity, but it backfired in the best way possible. We were flooded with orders. We had our best sales wow. day ever. We grew thousands of followers and just got so much positive feedback, comments, and messages. Although with a bigger Instagram following, Caitlin faced another problem. While TikTok automatically filters hateful comments, Instagram isn't quite so generous. And as a result, her posts filled with nothing but brutal insults. Oh. In the process, Caitlin cultivated the world's most dedicated hater, Anonymous51782, who went through all of her old posts to write negative comments on all of them. What? Caitlin's and this is the type of person that no one likes at all. This dude sits in a basement. Sorry, scratch that. He sits in his mom's basement because he doesn't have a house. Anonymous 51782. Bro. You too scared to even put your name on the thing because you talking all this nonsense, but ain't gonna speak up and stand on it. You are scary. You are a little. Wow. No, bro, th these type of people make me mad because it's one thing to take the time out of your day to leave one bad comment on a video that you just happen to scroll past. All right, whatever. But if you scroll through every single one of her videos and leave a bad comment, you are a weirdo. Straight up weirdo. You have no friends. Your girlfriend is ugly. Sorry, scratch that. You don't have a girlfriend. I don't even know why I gave you that plus side. Even if she was ugly, you don't have one. That's worse. Your mom doesn't like you, your dad doesn't like you, your siblings hate you, you are a no life. Get out of my face, boy. It has also developed a whole new style of comment, simply writing hate from followed by their place. There was hate from Epstein's Island, hate from St. Jude's Children's Hospital, hate <coughs> from the front lines of Ukraine, and hate from the cartels. But more simply, there was hate from Australia, which gained the attention of the Yo Mama's House podcast. This is one of the biggest ones that goes, people just write hate. <laughs> No, hate from Australia. Hey, <laughs> we're on the other side of the world. Just want you to know that I hate you. In a 13 minute video talking about the hate, Tom Segura pointed out that the comments were getting more likes than she had followers. Ignore all the positive comments. <laughs> 70,000 likes. I don't know. And man. she doesn't have like a million followers. This is a meager account. Yeah. I mean, it has like 40,000, which is not nothing for sure. Although it'd be also through this video that Caitlyn's following quadrupled, Whoa. which it capitalized on in a pretty clever way by launching a hate from Australia coffee blend. Talk about turning lemonade from lemons. Brilliant marketing move. As not a result, Caitlyn became a guest on the podcast. So we got your mom's house coffee uh, and then the hate from Australia, which is actually <laughs> Australian coffee. So nice this and And when given the chance to slam her competition, she'd instead do the opposite. I've heard a lot of coffee enthusiasts say that Starbucks is crap. What's your take on that? We owe a lot of third wave coffee success to Starbucks, so no animosity there. They started the third wave coffee movement. Without them, local roasters like me wouldn't exist. Caitlin then expanded on her strategy She's really nice. dealing with hate. I know who I am as a yeah. person. I'm, I'm very confident in who I am. I have a great support system. That's awesome. A uh, very close circle of people, and they can call me on my BS, and they're more than allowed to, and if you're not in my close circle, I don't really care about your opinion Such that cheaply. Good, Facts. Good After which she and Tom filmed a classic TikTok workout. And with comments such as Tom Segura bought me here and you're now my favorite person, it seemed her appearance on the podcast had made a significant impact. Caitlin's therefore become so popular she's had to reject certain coffee events. We're getting emails. They're like, oh, we want to come here. We want to come here. We're like, absolutely not. No. We are taking the year off, the rest of the year off. With her social media journey being best summarized by the following comment. Words cannot express how much love I have for all the hate you've gotten. What? Look what happens when you're a good sport and roll with the punches while staying true to your original mission. Oh, so I, happy for you. I misinterpreted that. I thought he was saying like he loved the hate. He's saying he loved how she dealt with the hate, which I agree with. You know, she definitely dealt with it the right way. I think, you know, a little less response to the hate maybe have been a little more, you know, better, but I don't know. That's crazy. Like, that's ignorant, too. Like, it's really people out there that hate their lives so bad that they got to hate on you or your life. You know, it's one thing to be like, oh, my God, what is this video? It's so bad. And leave a dislike or a, a, just a comment like, hey, nah, this ain't it. All right, cool. But 
to go through someone's entire catalog, follow them, and then just send hate on every video. Oh, trash, 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 trash. trash. You look like a no life. What does that make you look like, bro? Like, your friend asks you, hey, <laughs> hey, buddy, what have you done today? You say, oh, I've been sending hate comments all day. What? I'm not gonna lie, that's not my friend no more, bro. He's a bum. Bruh. He's a bum. No wonder he's still living at his mama house. He's 48. Bro, come on, bro. Like, no diss to anybody living at their mama house at 48. I'm just saying, if you're living at your mama house at 48, and because, you know, you are a bum, then, hey, I'm talking to you. That's just facts. That just is what it is, bro. Like, I don't know. I just can't get down with that hating stuff. Like, it be making me mad. Like, I hate in my head. I don't hate out loud to the person, you know. I feel like that's when it becomes a problem. When you spread hate to the person, you can hate in your head. It's like something in your head. But when it becomes like, you know. I couldn't think of the word. Oh! But when it's pushed out of your head into the real world, like, that's when I'm like, hey, bro. Like, that's kind of weird. So, what y'all think about this lady? I'm not going to lie. I really didn't have a problem with her from what i seen. She seemed real nice, you know. Probably not my forte of content, but... I mean, I don't even drink coffee, so that's expected. But, I mean, yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comments. Like, are y'all on the hater side or y'all on her side? Like, let me know where y'all are. Y'all know if y'all enjoyed too much to subscribe. We're over to 10,000 subscribers. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Just make sense the like button if you like the video. No. And hit that like button if you like coffee. Because I don't even drink coffee, I'm still going to hit the like button because I want to. You do the same. She's the most hated TikTok creator on YouTube. Huh? Wow. What type of sentence was that? Oh!